Hi, my name is Seth. I um, play guitar for Downrights. My name is Kieran. I sing and play bass for the Downrights. My name is Brett. I play drums in the Downrights. Jared, and I play guitar for the Downrights. I've known Jared, Kieran, and Seth probably for about like seven to eight years. I've just known Seth around for a while, especially yeah. when he his dreads. I've always seen him around. The band has gone through a lot of incarnations. Jared started the band. Jared's actually the only original member of the band, I believe. Yes, he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, this lineup kind of got solidified, I believe, in 2013 when Brett joined, and then Seth joined us last year. And uh, we've been having wild orgies ever since. I have no idea what the name means, and uh, the only person who does is sitting right over there, so maybe he can explain. It, it, has, it has no meaning, it's just that we just needed a name, and someone just said downrights, and I said that's fine, because we couldn't come up with a better name, so. That's how much energy yeah. and passion Jared puts into this band. That's the name of the, the band. That's, well, there's no, it just means the name? down to the right. If you it used to be there. called the Captains. That was a better name, I don't know why. Don't also know had, also had a lot of deep meaning to it. I like to think we're the best of both worlds. I don't know anything about music, he knows everything, but I have better stage presence. So. I'll give him that. He does have better stage presence. And Seth has good stage presence. Seth has good Seth stage presence. Seth also has yeah. very good stage presence. I'm going to get a big piece of chocolate on stage. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what he is. I come from a place where I want to just play things perfectly correct. And obviously it doesn't, he's a lot different than I am in that field. So it's good to have stage presence on one side, and it's good to have precision on one side. I feel like that works well together. My favorite song off the album is Ana Wanna Blues, because it's the best my voice has ever sounded, but nobody else really seems to like that song. But that's my personal favorite. And because my favorite song, I want to lose. Too. And because it's about Salute Your Shorts, which of course is the greatest television show of all time. I think the best part about recording that album was that um, we weren't used to, as a band, we weren't used to getting any sounds recording-wise to that level, ever. So when we recorded that album, it, uh, it, blew, it blew me away in terms of like what sound we could actually get, because we never, we never recorded anything on that level before. Jared generally writes the music, I generally write the lyrics. We haven't written a political song in a while, but... We've just been keeping it more of a mainstream sound to appeal to more people, if you want the honest truth. I mean, that's what really you have to do nowadays. People don't really want to hear like, oh, I don't like Donald Trump's see, opinion see, on the border. See, people now that Jared to... just said that, I'm going to write an ultra-political song, just to piss him off. I, I have no problem with it. I like politics, actually. You know, I always, I always say, and I don't mind saying it, like, I, I always laugh about it later on because people ask me, do you, do you and Kieran really not get along? Well, we really don't actually get along at all. People think it's an act. People it's really not. Like, oh, we really so don't, we really don't are, get along. You guys are really like best friends, and I said. But the thing is, really. one day if the band doesn't exist, I'll consider myself honored to play with Kieran, and I will say that on camera. And I will not agree. I know he won't agree. <laughs>